Alright, hey there, we're gonna play uh, Crystal Bears today. Uh, I'm Turbo C, and I got two friends with me here. Uh, I'm Daryl. I'm Zen Master Bullshit. Cool. And uh, before we start, I just wanted to go over, like, what are, what are your guys' uh, experiences with Final Fantasy and Crystal Chronicles? I uh, haven't really played much of the games, and I read a Crystal, Crystal Chronicles once, and it was complete shit. I'm a bit of the opposite. I have never played any Crystal Chronicles, but I'm a massive Spurg Lord for any number of Final Fantasy. Alright, and uh, I love the Crystal Chronicles series. Don't really play any other games. And we'll learn my uh, position on this game as we go on. Rouge. There's more Crystal Chronicle games? Yeah, there's like five. I only played the first one in this one. A lot of them were on... Uh, handheld consoles. And there was one weird one that was ported from the DS to the Wii. It's weird. Oh, wait. Is, is that thing in water, or...? Uh, that's, that's in air. So, it makes its own water? There's nothing here to report. They, ne they never really oh, explain how that works. Here, guys. But his little boat doesn't make water. What a dull gig. Good. We got water on the boat, though. Better. Take good care of the Alexis, you hear? Oh wait, that's a dude. And don't go starting any trouble, Leo. You cause enough trouble Which one? The one that they just cut. They're to. both pretty feminine. Stop using me, then. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> what was that? Another airship? Oh, he's in one of those like Star Wars esque shooter things. What is this? What's going on? Monsters here. Ow. I've never seen so many at once. He seems abnormally calm for giant bird monsters to pop out of nowhere. Oh, the best part is Lael just standing on the top there. Doesn't really care anything about the movements that's going on. Yep, that was good voice acting there, not matching the character's emotions at all. Leave it to me. Well, maybe the character doesn't have any emotions. But why would he throw away the gun? Or maybe he expects to catch it when he jumps off the boat. Alright, so uh, this is Wait, shit, he did. our first intro, and it's pretty pretty cool. Um, they showed this off at E3, right. and I thought it was pretty fun. Um, this is just normal stuff, point at the screen, kill enemies. Um, you'll notice as we go along that Crystal Bears has a lot of uh, minigames. Yes. This is our pretty much our first one, which is... Like I said, it's one of the fun ones. Can can you like take damage or lose or? Uh, I have not been able to like lose at all because you get like a score at the end, and I don't think you can lose at all. And I don't even think you can kill that big one right there. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, and Leo just grabbed his gun yes. uh, with his telekinesis. Right. He has those magic powers. doesn't look particularly... Like, it visually looks interesting, but it just doesn't seem that fun. Because, I mean, you could not even shoot any of them be good. Yeah. It's, it's kind of pointless. It's what I don't really like about it. It's the minigames are the escort inevitably... Friends? They have no point. Okay, what is on that guy's face? Someone uh, saw. I, it's hair, I think. You there! What are you doing? Huh? I'm taking pictures. I'm a photographer. No hey, it's Catherine. Were invited on this flight. Who? Uh -oh. Catherine from the game. From Catherine. Catherine. Yeah. The voice actress. One problem. Oh, I was wondering where I heard her from. Who are you then? I'm the escort. You called for me. I normally don't go for blonde escorts. That's something entirely different. Whoa! What's gonna pop out now? I'll just have to drag it out. Also, yeah, he has chainmail on his shoulders. It took me forever when I was first playing this to 
figure out what that was. So he's a wizard? Sort of. Jozo? You tried. Impossible. You know, they sort of do look like that, actually. Did he say the Mew tribe? He said the Yuke tribe. Oh. The Crystal uh, Idol. I have a feeling that this is going to be Mr. Exposition. You know, what's his face? He's blonde like Samus. So this could have easily just been the what other M was supposed to be. I don't know. I'm not sure which one I'd rather have. What I've heard, they oh, both have punish. pretty bad uh, combat systems. Face through? Like all this you're looking at right now, can't do any of that. It's like a smoke cloak. It must be similar to a smoking jacket. All right. Well then, let's get serious. <laughs> I do not have time. This game doesn't hurt at all after that. Aw, oh, don't say that, Goldenrod. I still have some energy to burn. Good day, team. So. That is a very human voice coming out of what appears to be a skeleton. Yeah, so these guys have been in the game escort. before, or in the series before, but they never had voices, so it, wasn't a it was sort of weird loss, at least. that it was just this regular human voice coming out of it. We're descending. I think that's plumage on that guy's hair. I think he's like Going half chicken. Present, huh? This is getting interesting. Uh, yeah, I could say that. Yeah. Alexis, respond! Mm. You're losing altitude fast. Doesn't give Sorry a fuck for about the weight, guys. The bodies. That's kind well, of gruesome. Learn to be a team player. Yeah, that guy is sort stats. of a dick. You'll hear him say in like ten seconds. Good. Hi, Commander Jagron. I am relieved that you are safe. The ship is going down. I am relieved that once. you are safe. The other passengers? Never mind them. Your pay will not be affected. Well, that's a Wait, sword. I thought it was like a mandal cape. The shards have been taken from. I thought it was actually like a you half wing when I first played them, this. Did you not? That's not what I'm asking about. <laughs> Just calm down. Leave this to me. I can fly this ship. Huh? That's a little heavy even for you, no? You fools, were you not listening? The ship has lost power. It can no longer fly. Oh no, it'll fly. I've got power. Right here! How did he get a crystal embedded in his chair? I have no clue, actually. I, if they explain it later, I'm not really sure. This looks fun, thrilling even. We're almost through the clouds. Don't get spooked by the view. So yeah, this is uh, another mini game. We have to steer the boat as it's crashing through a canyon. Now see, uh, the, the fight should have been gameplay, and this should have been a cutscene. Yeah. Well, it it sucks even more because, as you can see, I just keep crashing into the walls. And there's like no way to avoid that. I saw like even like a skilled run of this on YouTube, and the other person keeps crashing in about as much as I do. It doesn't seem very responsive, and I, I, I'm I'm a bit confused on how the telekinesis is powering a ship engine. Uh, they explain it later, but his uh, crystal and his thing he channels it through to the crystal engine oh. in the game. It's really dumb, especially when they explain it later how limited his powers actually are. Well, 
It's not like Final Fantasy X, we can't have good old-fashioned chocobo power. That looked like a building. Yeah, there's uh, some ancient ruins here that were completely destroyed. Oh, wow, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Can you lose at this minigame? Like, just now? No. I'm pretty sure you could just keep running into the wall forever and never lose. Like I said, the the minigames are sort of pointless in that respect. How did he just emit? What the fuck? Yeah, it's just a straight down drop. I have no clue how. Did he just Wait, like, didn't they just go through water? Yeah, they like they hit water and like bounce back up. It's like he just stopped powering it for half a second, and they immediately drops. Like there's no drift to it. Die. Turbo, you're really bad at this. Uh, I mean, yeah. Well, I, I, but like I said, there is, there is no way to be good at this. Yeah, you, you're turning it all the. I'm assuming you're turning it all the way to the left. It can go, and you're yeah. like barely moving at all. The ship's just like as thin as a pancake right now. What? <laughs> that wasn't a right at all. Leave it to me. Yeah, I had no idea what to do because I turned right pretty early. Um, we have the eye of Sauron. Saved. We're heading straight towards it. Maybe his more fabulous brother? Yeah, I tried to turn out of the way, but. I'm about to apply the brakes, Turbo. What are you doing now? Don't ask about the brakes. Oh, there's a cultural monument he just broke through. Thank you. Yeah, he's, he's a nice guy, really. I mean, defiling ancient the temples, time. destroying cultural landmarks. We're sure we're not playing Legend of Zelda. Well, it's it's an adventure game. I'll give it that. They're, so it has about that in several hundred, other hundred games of similarities. Did you hear her? No, what she said. She goes, "It's all your fault," as it's just getting along the ground. Someone smack her. Yo, flying ace. Also, there's no way it slowed down that fast. Before? First time, but it was easier than riding a chocobo. <laughs> Crystal bearer. Hey. Uh, be ready to that hear that phrase a lot. This thing absorbed all the shards in the Alexis. Crystal bearer in a Seriously? condescending huh. tone. I bet we can get a good price. Is it like a that. racial slur or something? Can't do that. This thing is my only lead. I don't. I don't know. Like people don't Holy like crystal God. bearers, which I'm is what our guy the here is. Hostile that attacked the Alexis. But we have They just keep business. saying crystal bearer over and over. <laughs> you really are addicted to trouble, aren't you? Looking like other people have magic besides crystal bearers in the setting. Um, so that's one thing that's like really ambiguous. Like in the first games, you could just use magic if you picked up this one object. But in this, like you only see crystal bearers using it. Another job for me, maybe. So it's a whole Marvel Comics kind of thing. Job first. Yeah, sort of. Right, we hate them because we're supposed gear. to hate them. The if you dirty, catch the hostile crystal crystal bears. Bears. you'll get 30 million gil. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly oh. it, actually. Senator Kelly was gil. right. That's a lot of coin. Yeah. Actually, sir, so what we'll be explained later is the Lilties, the guys with the plumage on their head. That's one of the four tribes. Very well. Um, they uh right. out. They pretty much run the world well, now. I'm gonna go get our pay and, uh, and a new gig. They so outlawed the uh, magic. Oh. So oh, we got taken. Is is the rooster plumage guy uh, a planty, whatever they're called? Yeah, all all of them are lilties. Oh, so that was actually plumage on his head. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there are four tribes. There's the lilties, which have the things on their heads. Uh, clavats, which are just regular humans. Like Lael here is. Selkies, which are the two red heads that you saw earlier. And you, which are the armor guys. That's a very. Oh, oh, so that's what game we're playing. It's kind of abrupt there, and just kind of out of nowhere. Yeah, I, when I first played this, I was like, oh, okay. It's, it was such a weird place to put a title screen. We're just going through the menus right now, seeing what we'll eventually have things to put into. Yeah, yeah, sort of. The game actually forced me to look at the map, which is an utterly useless map, by the way. 
What, what? And Hero's trying to screw over some people because there are asshole physics in this game. And, uh, backfired on me a little. Well, I mean, look at the size of that one. I don't think you can easily remove her. Can you just, like, toss the guards around? Uh, yeah, actually. And... What? Hmm. What was that? Uh... The, those things were on the ceiling, and I think the reason they fell was because of the, uh... Because of the ship crashing, but that was never explained. And so here I am, just being the huge jerk to guards, but... Doing horrible at it. And in a second I realized how stupid this idea was to try and get out. Is there any consequence to this? It doesn't look like there is. There, there isn't really, it's just you get knocked over and it's a little annoying. Also there's the TV, news, Moogle. Oh, so Moogles are a thing in this setting. Oh yeah, Moogles are pretty much the best part of this game. Well, they don't really do anything, but they come over to you and they're really cute. Is there a mom in it in this game? Do you have to deliver their mail? Uh, yeah, there is There is a uh, male Moogle that comes and gives you mail sometimes. Is Stiltskin in this game? Yeah, Stiltskin's in this game. Uh... You meet him later. Is he a mainstay in other Final Fantasy games? or? He showed up in 9. He was just kind of an adventuring yeah. Moogle you'd run into from time to time. You could buy like sets of items from that were normally really good. Okay. Because in Crystal Chronicles, he's just sort of been this advice guy, tells you what to do. And that guard really doesn't care that we're using illegal magic. The Kelpies seem to be a very diverse race. I mean, you get the weird Goron-shaped guards, the humanoid plant girls. Yeah, that sort of annoyed me, because... In the first game, which I really loved, they were just one shape, and they were, like, small and looked like babies, but they're the best fighters. And in this game, they're completely different. They're all shapes and sizes. And, uh, here I'm turning on the subtitles and changing the camera. Because, uh, apparently you can't turn on the subtitles for the beginning movie. Well, that's helpful. So it was the uh, the fighter race that got outlawed wizards, was it? Yeah. And actually, the uh, armor guys, the Ukes, they uh, they were actually wiped out by the Lilties before the events of this game. That's why uh, the one Commander Richard Braun in the uh, movie said, A Uke, that's impossible. So we got a little mystery and intrigue going on. And these women don't really care that I'm stealing their precious values. You found some cool specs. Oh yeah, and the game gives you uh, like achievements that are useless when you pick up things for the first time. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the save point. Yeah. It's a good thing they can tell you you can save your progress there. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to figure that out before. Oh, that's still skin. Moogle. Yeah. You can tell by his weird. These people really don't want me to talk to Stiltskin, they keep pushing me away. You can tell because he's got the weird leopard skin hat cloak thing. So, uh, the clock is broken, that's the clock up there. And, uh, how do we fix it? Vandalize? Your face into it. Did you just, like, send it into subspace to repair it? I have no idea. He just headbutted the thing. Is yeah, but and then it goes into crazy zone. Subspace. Yes. And still skins my boy. He'd be selling elixir all day, every day. He has his own award. <laughs> I'm being a jerk and just stealing that newspaper. So, so far, the only thing I've seen in this game that you can actually do is just be a gigantic dick to people. 
Yeah, and then if you do that enough, people will, uh... Oh, apparently that girl loved that I stole that newspaper. Oh. Well, she loves the bad boys. Doesn't. Yeah, but if you're just a huge dick, then guards will come and run you over several times. But it doesn't really do anything except lose you some money if you get hit hard enough. Yeah, the, the world design so far reminds me a lot of Final Fantasy XII, and by that I mean there's nothing but gigantic ass columns. Yeah. Well, we're in the train station, so there's gotta be a lot of space. Also, Leo is quite the ladies' man, as you can see. <laughs> you just mugged that old woman. I think I was a man, actually. They're plants, yeah, like, they're whatever. not people, who cares? Yeah, he was asleep, so I had to wake him up. Also, I wanted to see if I could throw this little kid into the engine there. Game wouldn't let me. Why not? I mean, you can slap women around, steal money from guys, apparently make small children fall in love with you. Well, why can't you throw children into train engines? Because that's disgusting. <clears throat> oh, Japan, of course. So, this part of the game is just the train station. They show you around town and show you all the cool things that you can't actually interact with. Looks really nice for a Wii game. Yeah, it, it's pretty graphically intense and I really love it, but I just get annoyed when games do this and they show you the things you can't do, basically. Did that child, like, leave at you before you took the shuttle? Yeah, I think so. He was trying to stop you, man. Also, all of them are dressed like 19th century noble people. I don't really get that. Well, it's because they're Kelpies, not dirty, dirty, whatever the hell humans are called. Or Chozo. Where the hell the fourth race was. Uh, there's Selkies. And the way I determine them by, uh, differentiate them between humans is how spiky their hair is. There better be a poster of you. No, it's a poster of the girl, so I picked up that newspaper earlier and it said that apparently she's being trained for the attack. So, Selkie's just like red-headed humans? Well, no, they're not even red-headed, it's just the two that we've seen so far as red-headed. Oh. They're more like agile and stealthy and thieves. Also, the Moogle's the best part. Whoa, what's that? It was a ferret. You go get that ferret. So am I correct in uh, assuming that combat in this game is sort of based around whatever you can get your hands on? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much exactly what it is. Uh, we won't be seeing it. Little pest. We won't be seeing it in this update, but yeah. Why you? So you can just like pick up a bunch of small children and moogles and carry them around with you as living ammunition. Guys, we just got robbed yeah, by a ferret. Clever. Yeah, Leo just got outsmarted by something with a tenth of its brain size. I don't know, being robbed by it kind of shows that who has the bigger brain size. And you just throw around little plant girl Francesca von Karma. Okay, I literally have no idea what's going on with the camera cutting back and forth like that. Yeah, it's trying to show us where the thing actually is, but it's very bad. As you can tell, I got lost there. And the girl's freaking out. You probably just killed that thing when it hit the ground. Mm. Oh, thank god. And that old man just decked me. It's because you mugged his wife. Mm. You, you grappled the... what? Why didn't you just grab the ferret? I'm not sure. Gotcha. Now what to do with So do you just like an achievement for every plot thing you ever do? Her name is Mia. Oh, not even She's just plot things, ferret. just things you do. Thanks for catching her for me. Hmm? Oh, yeah, and like I said, they don't do anything, so I have it no needs idea to why. Be trained. Why You're they're right. there. I'm sorry. I'll be more careful. I think this has worse voice acting hey, than Final Fantasy X. That guy's a bearer. A crystal bearer. How horrid. I mean, that little boy just spoke with a 30-year-old man voice. Just use magic, mommy. Shh, you shouldn't point. 
And I think the crystal on what's his face's cheek has changed size like rarity? three times already. How rude of me! Hey, can I buy you some tea? Nah, yeah, so I'm there we just got reader. pointed out how come on, uh, one cup. magic go. is not really normal around the city. So what exactly is on the back of his jacket? You were very bad. Um, that's you the symbol for the Clavat tribe. Time. The human tribe. You, okay. I was Man. hoping it wasn't like some it's personal thing you were going to on like a Trapper Keeper once. The law is the law. And we get a whole Final Fantasy VIII pre-enactment. By the way, that's completely false. In-game, you can use your Crystal Bearer powers as much as you want. The guards don't really care. And is that what you well, obviously. Think? You've demonstrated that by wasting Me, the viewer's time for 20 you. minutes so far. <laughs> I think the game does a good enough job of wasting everybody's time. This guy's a bearer. So what if I am? Use of arcane arts, obstruction of justice. Arrest this Oh, now they're finally arresting. Me. Oh. Yeah, but they'll they'll still forget me later. Is the best part. I'll come back to the city later. Guards won't care. So now you've kidnapped a young girl. Terrorize the city. You were one bombing away from being a floor too. Oh, they came down the hill. I thought those chocobos just burst out of the ground. <laughs> oh, I actually thought they did. No, like, you can see like one of them sliding off the hill. That's just. <laughs> okay, that that was pretty nice. Misery loves company, right? Uh, can't you even yeah, Leo is decoy? pretty smug in this game. Those are some slow chocobos. I mean. Hey! Uh, do something about our tail, Crystal Bearer. I'm on it. Yeah, and so now we're at our third mini game, which is not really that fun. Uh, you just you grab the chocobos and fling them. Oh, and occasionally the girl will say cool things to happen. Really? You just really crush three guards. Yeah. They had. And she. She's completely oblivious to uh, who's actually doing this stuff. She, she'll she say later she thinks she's a magician. Oh. Despite, like, me actually using my powers in front of her, like, eight times already. No, no offense, so far, I, I think you kind of deserve to be caught. I mean, you terror- I, I, yeah, I killed several people just then. Just then, but I mean, before that, you, you, you've stolen, you throw, tr attempted to throw children into train engines. You know, as fast as Chocobos can apparently run, you're, like, throwing these guys off of horses to be trampled by other horses. Oh, yeah, they're fucked. Am I, like, a magician? Oh, I can tell she's going to be fun for the rest of this game. She's so fun. Can you throw her into a train engine, please? Uh, I actually do something in the, uh, next video, which is sort of funny. I, I pick with pretty much everyone that I can possibly pick with. Well, I thought, isn't that the point of this game? Yeah. Oh, so now you have to act If they get too close, you have to outwaggle them. Wait, wait, where'd that sword come? I stole it from him. Also, look at that chocobo right there. Oh, Ghost oh. Ride. <laughs> He's Ghost super ride sliding. Chocobo. You're being, like, attacked by Cosmo. The special levitating chocobo, bred for efficiency. Uh, you can't even attack them right now, that's... No, I can't grab them, and the guy behind him is on the same path, so he can't get up to me. That's just... <laughs> Fantastic game design. It fixes itself in a second, no. But watch me throw him into the water here. What? This fucking stands on it. I think you just tried to kill Jesus right there. <laughs> Jesus was reincarnated into a chocobo. Did I say Godzilla when you threw him? Oh, you gotta, you gotta score. Yeah, they score every minute game, I think. Oh, that, that... 
that was quite enjoying to watch. Can we get that again? Also, they're inconsistent what color his powers are, because that was purple right there. It's been blue before. They've been swapping between them. Like, it goes anywhere from, like, dark blue to purple to scion to teal. 